When it got a chain for me, I had to give it up. Yeah. Niggas had they pistols loaded, pointed in my truck. This is not just a fairy tale rap line. What Drake is talking about is a 2009 incident before he really blew up where he believes he was set up and robbed. 2009 was a really exciting time for Drake. He had just dropped So Far Gone and he was on his way to drop and thank me later. He had signed with Young Money Cash Money and he was next up in the rap scene. Although Drake was yet to be a truly household name in the States, in Toronto, he was already developing to that dude known and popular and it's funny because it's almost as if Drake had a premonition about having friction with a woman because he said in his interview with Joe Button that he didn't think he would have beef with a guy it would be with a female but in this case it's a little bit different if I get this it's gonna be it's gonna be a female trying to get at me I bet yeah yeah why I don't know it's different with you, you. Me. Why? so the story goes it's May 31st, 2009. Drake is having dinner with Chantal Brown or Chantel Brown, depending on how you want to pronounce that, in Little Italy in Toronto. They finish dinner. They're leaving the spot. He gets to his truck. She gets in. He gets in. Soon as he gets in, two dudes run up on the truck. Weapons drawn. Now, here's where Drake says he believes he knows he was set up. They asked him for his watch and his chain, but he says he had on a coat and he had on a pullover and the chain and everything was under that so there's no way they could have known what he was coming with so he ups he runs it you know they got the guns in his face he runs it he's by himself he runs the watch and chain his necklace that little wayne had just given him they get an ap which you know depending on what you spend on it could be anywhere from high fives to six figures and then they get a couple racks out of his pocket then after that they run off so well before they run off a good samaritan that was at the restaurant runs up and you know starts hey what are y'all doing and they get shook and they take off down the street they don't get a mile away before the police catch up with them. Boom, they get pulled in, they get arrested, they get all Drake's stuff back minus a little bit of the cash. After that, obviously, paperwork comes out. Aubrey Graham's name is in the paperwork. The dudes who robbed them, their name is in the paperwork. Chantel's name is in the paperwork. So some rival crews in Toronto get a hold of this information and you know what they saying. Oh, Drake snitch, Drake snitch, Drake snitch. So again, this happened in 2009. In 2010, the New York Times would report on the issue and they would say in May 2009, he was robbed at gunpoint in a Toronto restaurant. He cooperated with the police investigation in what some perceive as a violation of hip hop's no snitching ethos. Now, I don't think Drake cooperated and I'll tell you why in a second. Later on in the article, Drake goes on to say, I feel unsafe in Toronto at all times. I'm a one of one. There's no one else you can hate as much as me if you hate money or you hate success. So Drake basically lets us know that this right here shook him up. And you can tell because listen to what he said on Take Care. I'm more concerned with niggas thinking about Christmas and all get Charges were withdrawn, so the dudes did not get hit with the full weight of the law. When they would have wanted him to testify, he's saying he was in Miami. He just didn't take part in it. He went on the interview with MTV, GQ, New York Times, and really admit, hey, I felt like I was set up because they never even thought about going after the woman. She had a big Louis bag right next to him. They didn't even consider it. Right here, and this girl right here, who knows what she knows. Coach it, decoded.